Hello there everybody, this is of course Nick, back again one more time. Hello, how the heck's it going? Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you rigid about the tea I've been drinking recently, not just yet, but the day will come when I will go into great length and great detail of all the wonderful depth and clarity and different layers of flavour and all that kind of stuff that one can get from some exquisite artisan fine teas, maybe, if you're lucky, and if of course you are interested in that, then leave a message in the information box below. Today is a bit of a general update video. Why is that? Because tomorrow in the morning, I am going to the dentist. Yes, it's the long-awaited moment whereby I will be lying down in a dentist chair and allowing some complete stranger to get in there with knives and drills and all that kind of stuff and needles and cement and plaster and God alone knows what else in order to build up the upper level, uh, well, upper level of my front teeth so that I will actually have something which I can actually use to eat food with. Uh, I don't know what they'll be doing, you know, calling in some uh, Polish builders to work out where the extension should be built, where they'll put in the windows and all that kind of stuff. I have no idea. From your point of view as the audience, I don't think you're necessarily to text all that much in the way of change. Maybe there'll be a bit more in the way of a visible dentistry at the top there. I am unsure, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So obviously keep posted. The excitement will mount as to precisely what Nick's mouth will look like after he has spent two and a half hours lying down allowing some strange person to sort of like do peculiar things to the inside of his eating apparatus. But that's just the general update part of this video. The, um, the main reason for me to do this one particular video right now is because... Hmm... I haven't done a Ouija board seance for a long time and that's really starting to knock me but also I'm slightly out of the loop as to what is the current uh, you know major massive uh, folk mythology um, entity type thing that people say is out there trying to get them well what particular demonic entities are people worried about at the moment there was a time when it was the hat man and then look of course there was all the hype about the midnight game is there a new folk myth out there which you want me to explore or to experience in one particular way or another using the wonderful power of the Ouija board and again if there is something some kind of entity again leave uh, comments down below because that's what the down below section is there for it's there for you to leave comments hmm and uh, yes of course I do plan on doing a video about various um, comments which have appeared on my videos again which is one of those most wonderful things which I've always loved doing always loved doing it's given me so much pleasure so much pride so much Oh, je ne sais quoi, joie de vivre, to go through a comment section and to talk to a plastic camera with a little red light on it. Um, just to while away some time whilst I'm waiting for the phone to ring and for my clients to call me and to discuss the various different issues that they have in their day and in their life. But on the other hand, it's part of the way in which I make a living and I won't disguise that, okay? Alright, but uh, keep your comments coming keep also your personal messages coming because I haven't checked that for a long time and if there are some subjects you want me to go into in greater detail then I'll be happy to go back to that. And on the subject of transdeism and the general aspiration to destroy the stupidity which has emerged deep deep into the whole new age movement kind of thing that will have to carry on in some way whatsoever in the future and it will come as I continue to get pissed off with all the various different cults out there that um, have their primary purpose to distort the argument and slowly drive people steadily insane using stupidity, brainwashing, and all forms of other forms of fuckwittery. I mean, seriously, the New Age movement has... Um, uh, it doesn't make you proud to be human, you know? I saw a list that was published on Twitter recently of various different creationists who made explanations as to why they thought what they did, you know, just one sim single, simple question or simple statement, and I just sat there going, oh my god, oh my god. Uh. I mean, I may have a higher power concept myself, it doesn't actually matter. It's one of the ways in which I get through my life and get through my day, and it's just part of the m mythology that I run side by side with my life. It doesn't actually matter, apart from to me. Hmm? Why? What stage of mentalness does one have to be frozen? 
in your life and in your personal development to just want to discuss your religion. And to see that as being the most important thing on the face of the planet. What lack of social experience and education and wisdom and maturity does a person have to have to be frozen in time, frozen in personal growth, to be stuck at that level? unaware that they're not actually doing that much good. There's more important things in the world, okay? The cookery videos on YouTube actually have a purpose. They teach you how to live a healthy life, get your balanced nutrition, have something flavorsome, something creative, something which is a hobby and can do you some good. So yes, the cooking videos are actually more useful than the religious videos. Haven't you noticed that? Cooking is actually fun. Mm. Food preparation is fun. It's interesting. It's part of the process of looking after yourself. Moaning on and on and on about, oh, well, I believe this. Yes. It can get a little tiring at times. Okay, so that's what you believe, so fucking well what? Hmm? And I don't, so fucking well what? Do I want to get involved in an argument with you? No, not really, because you think something which I disagree with. I mean, and it's not to, it won't help someone to grow. It won't help someone to develop. I mean, using some of the techniques which are present in the New Age movement as part of a self-developmental, psychologically healthy, cleansing lifestyle, yes, good, great, perfect, wonderful. And that is a lot like a cooking video. Exploring some f phenomena in nature, such as the idiomotor effect. That is curious, that is interesting. Hmm? But when in your life will going on about your religion stop having any importance and will you look back on your life and think I could have learned to cook in that time <laughs>